when constructing the birdhouse, you have to make sure that there is a hole on the bottom level so that the cash can come through. For the motor, I used a 12 volt that had something like 100 rotations per minute, and that way whenever a 9 volt was used, it would make less than 100 rotations per minute because I didn't want the cash to spin so fast that it would become difficult for the person finding the cash to get it out. I then drove two nails about the distance of the battery receptors through the side of the birdhouse so that when the person finding the cache would get there, all they'd have to do is put the battery on the ends of the metal nails and the signal, and I'm sorry, the current would run through the wires and into the motor. I then used a tension pin as well as a uh, piece of string spool and tape and a spool holder to make the rotation portion of the motor. And two pieces of zip tie cords are all I used to hold the motor in place. And then because we're dealing with electronics, I made sure to apply a healthy amount of caulk to the inside of the birdhouse to make sure that all forms of moisture and dew don't get in and mess with the uh, mechanical and metal parts of the cache. And here's what a test run of the cache would look like from the inside. And then some natural uh, spray paint color would make sure that the cache would blend in. Thank you for watching, and I now encourage you to go out there and make your own original and creative geocache. Also, feel free to give this video a like, a favorite, or go ahead and subscribe for more cool geocaching containers. Thank you!